What's up guys welcome back to another Fortnite video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest and fastest ways to get all 51 punch cards in Fortnite chapter 2 season 3 completed. If we could get 300 subscribers by the end of the month that would mean the world to me so make sure to subscribe leave a like if this helps if you can smash 15 likes on this video then I will show you guys how I leveled up so fast we're only two weeks into the season and I'm already level 102 so if we could get 15 likes on this video that would be amazing and yeah let's get right into this video whoa 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 pause 88% are not subscribed. What are you doing? Subscribe or you're going to be missing out on a lot of helpful videos like this. So subscribe right now. Alright, so the first punch card is the survivor punch card. To do this, it's pretty obvious. You just want to come top 10. Uh, the easiest way to do this, if you're good at the game, just play normally and then you should get this. That's how I do it. But if you're not that good, then just bush camp. Oh, by the way, I don't know why it says 19 out of 51. I have every punch card. I think that's just a glitch. The victory tour, it's pretty simple. You just want to get a win in every game mode. The first one is solos, then duos, then squads, team rumble, and then LTM. Uh, the LTMs, they're kind of easy. Right now, there's fog of war. Uh, this game mode's really easy. It's just... There's fog everywhere and it's suppressed weapons only. It's actually really, really easy. Uh, I got my LTM win in one shot. Uh, then there's the Hoarder one. This one's really easy. Just go in a Team Rumble game, get 999 of every material. It's really simple. This one is to just gather materials. Uh, so just like if you play the game normally you should get this if you know how to build uh, this one right here is to gather or consume um, items okay the best way to do this in my opinion is land frenzy farm and just break all the cornfield and then get the corn when it falls that's all you need to do I did this challenge so quickly compared to everything else this is probably the easiest one if you do it constantly you could probably get it done in one game okay this one is to just destroy trees now it might seem simple you just break trees you know you get wood you do this one and this one at the same time but this freaking punch card is actually really 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 time consuming <laughs> okay uh the best way that i have found to do this is either get in a helicopter and fly into trees it's not the best way because the helicopter could blow up but a better way is to go in a boat and then just bomb all the trees it's the fastest way i don't do that though because I focus on other punch cards because this one like yeah it's fast to do with a boat but like I'll get it done eventually just by playing the game all I have to do is break trees I get materials anyway but if you want to do this quickly get in the boat blow up some trees all right now these two right here you could both do them easily in the same way this one is to just search supply drops and this one is to just search llamas so the best way that I thought of doing this is to just get in a helicopter and fly around the map until you see llamas and then you cannot break the llamas open. You have to actually go up to it and open it. You cannot break it open. It will not work for the challenge. And you could do the same with the supply drops. Just get a helicopter, go around the map. You could also just go and team rumble in this one. But I find in Team Rumble it's harder because your team is probably going to take the supply drop from you. So just go in a helicopter, go around the map, look for llamas and open supply drops. This one is really easy, just do it in Team Rumble. This is to just pop the balloon of a supply drop. It has to be in the air if the supply drop is already on the ground and you pop the balloon, it will not work. So go in Team Rumble for that. This one 
it's really hard but it was easy if you played solid gold a lot so to get this punch card completed you need to search the rare chests. these are the blue chests that spawn randomly on the map they are rare to find you might not find them all the time they don't spawn in certain locations they spawn in random spots so you'll never know if you're gonna get one or not but if you played solid gold when it was an LTM a couple weeks ago these chests were the only chests in the game so if you played solid gold then you would have got this challenge done completely now solid gold is is gone unless it comes back then this challenge is gonna be pretty hard but if it comes back then just grind solid gold until you get this these two are really easy this is to just search ammo boxes if you find an ammo box on the ground just open it this one's also easy it's just search chest if you find a chest open it they're really easy challenges there's not much to explain with those this one is to just get kills if you're good at normal solo duo on squads then play that but if you're not then go in team rumble get a couple kills every time i play team rumble i get like 20 to 30 kills but i don't play team rumble often uh this one is to just deal damage this one i think is harder than actually getting kills um because like getting a kill like you could third party someone while they're at low hp and then get the kill this one you actually have to deal damage to the opponent so this one is harder this one i would do in team rumble i mean it doesn't matter you'll get it done both ways if you're good at the game this one eliminate marauders this one is really easy just jump out of the battle bus when you're over authority pull out your glider immediately and just wait until the first circle spawns in because when the first circle spawns that's when meteors fall from the sky with marauders in them once you see a meteor fall go next to it pick up a gun go kill those marauders this one is to just eliminate henchmen for me i just landed authority a bunch of times and killed all the henchmen i'm gonna keep doing it because i'm not done the punch card so yeah that's the fastest way go to authority or caddy corner the fortilla there's not a lot of henchmen there it's pretty big for a henchman place so you won't find a lot there the best places is caddy corner or the authority this one is really easy, it's just get a kill with every weapon. You don't even have to do this properly, you could just go in squads, knock someone, and then finish them with a certain gun. Like the explosives one there with the RPG. The best way to do it, because you might not always find an RPG, I think the only ways that you could get RPGs right now is from Marauders. I don't even think you could get them from Supply Drops anymore. So the best way to do this one is to just go in a squad game, find grenades, and when you knock an enemy, finish them with grenades. This one even, pickaxe elimination, just go in squads, knock someone, and finish them with a pickaxe. This one is pretty simple, it's just to get SMG kills. Just go in Team Rumble, spray people, or you could play the new LTM, the Fog of War, because suppress SMGs in that one, it's like the best weapon that you could get, there's no shotguns. So everybody sprays each other. I'm going to be grinding that game mode to do SMG kills soon. This one is to just get long shots. You need to get kills from 150 meters away. The best way to do this is to go in Team Rumble. Find like a spot at the edge of circle to camp on. Make sure you have bolt action snipers. And then just try to snipe people for the whole game. So you can get these long shots. This is probably one of the hardest punch cards to finish it is not the hardest but it is one of them so make sure you get this done right away or else you will struggle later on this one again pretty easy it's just to get pistol kills you could just knock someone finish someone with a pistol or go in team rumble and just try to get pistol kills i think with, when it comes to pistols knocking someone and finishing them is easier because in team rumble if you have a pistol and you're fighting someone with an smg or a shotgun then you're most likely gonna die unless you hit headshots this one is explosive kills this it's either you get kills with grenades in team rumble rpg kills if you get lucky enough to even find an rpg or just go in squads and knock someone and finish them with a grenade this one right here get a kill while riding a loot shark it might seem simple but it's actually pretty hard to do the best way to do this this is how i did it is to just make sure the battle bus ends at sweaty sands and then 
will get forced out of the battle bus if there are people AFK then land sweaty sands get a fishing rod get a shark and go get and go kill the AFK players this one is really easy it's shotgun kills you could do this in any game mode I'm sure shotgun kills is the easiest out of all of them sniper kills back when one shot was an LTM a couple weeks ago this was good I got a lot of punch cards because of it otherwise I would do this in team rumble if you're not good at sniping this one is AR kills it's pretty easy if you have aim assist so yeah this one is to revive a teammate uh, the best way to do this is to get a couple people in squads to help you they all knock themselves and you just keep reviving all game and you get this punch card done really quickly this one teammates could also help you they all like they build a high structure they knock themselves and land on another structure and then they fall off that and then die completely and then you pick up all their reboots and reboot them all at once this one is to just use fishing spots this is really easy I thought it was gonna be just the puddles that are in the water but it turns out if you just fish anywhere in the water this challenge will count so just get a fishing rod and fish all game and then you will get this challenge done easily this one is easy just find the shark throw your fishing rod in the water wait for it to bite and then you could ride a loot shark you'll get that done this also if you're doing this one then you will catch fish so this will be no problem this right here is to upgrade a gun from every rarity so the first punch card is to get uh just to upgrade a gray gun to green and then a green to blue and then a blue to purple and a purple to gold this one is really easy it's just to side grade a weapon this one is also really easy it's just to upgrade weapons just go in a solo game get a gray gun and upgrade it no matter what gun it is if it's gray you will only need 10 of each material to upgrade it so you could do this really quickly if you do that this one is just is to just be the first person on the map to do something this first person to land first person to get a kill first person to open a chest first person to fish first person to upgrade a weapon or side grade and then first person to open a supply drop this one is to just get weapon experts this is really easy uh, you just need to do a certain amount of damage with a gun in a single match the only one that I remember is uh, RPG you have to deal 400 damage with explosive weapons I think it has to be an RPG actually 400 damage with an RPG in a single match and then you get the weapon extra for that I don't remember any of the others this one right here okay this is probably the hardest freaking punch card in the whole game right now and the best way to do this I haven't done it yet but the best way to do this is to create a new account on mobile play squads with that account so you're in bot lobbies and then land either retail row or salty springs because those are the two most filled places where bots like to land and then knock the box put them all in a room and just finish them all at once it's the fastest way to do it it's the easiest way to do it i haven't done it yet i've gotten the three kill kill streak in team rumble there's two kill streak as the first card three kill streak then four kill streak five kill streak and six kill streak you could probably get to four in team rumble or in squads but then five and six is gonna be kind of hard unless you go in bot lobbies so that is the best way to do that this is the hardest punch card in the game so if you want to do it easily then just go into bot lobbies with a new account on mobile play squads knock bots and then finish them all within five seconds of each other if you finish one bot five seconds after finishing another or f or more than five seconds then you mess up you have to restart it has to be before five seconds this one is really easy it's just leave a legacy these are the legacy achievements that you get here for doing stuff uh, I'll make a video on that soon I only have 31 I know there's a lot more uh, once I find out what the rest are then I'll make a video on it to show you guys how to do that one faster this one is really easy 
is to just do quick challenges. Your quick challenges, you can find them here on the home screen, right under your level. They're really easy challenges, like use a whirlpool, eliminate marauders, upgrade a weapon, harvest materials, uh, pistol elimination. They're really easy and you have an unlimited amount per day. So you could do a crap ton all in one shot to get this punch card. This one right here is to just unlock punch cards. So to do this, it's like if you do the kill streak ones, once you unlock the four streak, then this will go higher. That's all it is. This one is to just do weekly challenges. Every week there are challenges. Right now there's only 21. We're on week three. I did them all. Uh, this one right here is to complete punch cards. So this one is to just unlock punch cards. And this one is to like this one right here. I have every single punch card for that category. That's how you do this one. This one right here is to just reach level 100. I'm going to make a video soon on how to level up faster. I am level 100. I did it pretty quickly. It's only been two weeks that the season is out. And yeah, I'll make a video on that soon. This one right here is to just get purple XP coins. Uh, every week when weekly challenges come out, uh, XP coins come out with it. Um, I did make a video showing where the week three XP coins are. There's blue, green, and purple. Uh, week one and two I did not show off. I have every pun. I mean, I have every XP coin for that. Uh, right now, there's only 10 purple ones in the game. This one right here is to get green XP coins. There's only 20 in the game. This one right here is to get blue XP coins. There's only 5 in the game. Soon, gold XP coins will be coming out. I don't know when, but I know they will for sure. So there's probably going to be another punch card for that. There will be more punch cards coming out throughout the season. So yeah, th this is not a complete guide, but for now, it's complete. I forgot to mention that. This one is to just throw an item. Uh, you could throw a mini. You could throw a, a med kit. Uh, I even think grenades work. I'm not too sure. Uh, chug splashes work if you throw them at your teammates. This one right here is to just thank the bus driver. It's really easy to do. It's a habit of mine. So I did this the punch card without even realizing. If you just thank the bus driver every time you, you're in the battle bus, you should get this done. You only need to do it 100 times to finish it. This one is to shake down enemies. It doesn't have to be enemies. It could also be henchmen. I did this while m killing marauders and killing henchmen for my challenges. Also in squads, I obviously shake down just to see the teammates because you know I want to win games. This one is easy to so just use a whirlpool. If you do your quick challenges, you will get this done eventually. And this one is really weird. It's to just ride a zipline in the storm while dancing. I did this in Team Rumble. I landed retail. I waited for the storm to come in first. And you have to dance first and then use the zipline. Because you can't dance if you're on a zipline. But if you dance before you're on the zipline, then when you get on the zipline, you're going to be dancing. So yeah, that was it. That was all 51 punch cards and the easiest and fastest ways to do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. Watch some more of my videos. You could click them on screen right now. And yeah, that is the video. I will see you all next time. Peace.